Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> everything is set and everything is recording. Hey, what's happening, all my dragon ladies? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damian Dragon, and welcome back to the Gaming News, where I run another list of all the gaming news, facts, rumors, trivias, and everything coming out the gaming industry this week. You know how everything is going to roll here today. Um, today, we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch, what's going to be coming up for that. Amazon canceling a game that people are going to be wanting to look for. And a PlayStation series from the original PlayStation is being remade for the PlayStation 5. So, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the news. First off, as you guys know, I like to play some replays. So, let's get this started. First off, the Nintendo Switch. What can be said about the Nintendo Switch? <clears throat> actually, a lot, actually. The Nintendo Switch is um, <clears throat> supposed to be getting a newer, bigger screen. And there's going to be uh, some upgrades to the Nintendo Switch 2. So, hold on one moment. Okay. All right, <clears throat> this is coming from c slash net.com and this is written by Scott Stein <clears throat> and it goes thusly. Nintendo Switch 2, bigger screen, 4K gaming and every upgrade we can expect in 2021. I'm not gonna go down the entire list, but here. It says, the Nintendo Switch has been a runaway success, especially after a 2020 that had us all shut in at home playing Animal Crossing. The question now is, what comes next? Signs point to a new 7-inch OLED model with possible 4K gaming when docked coming later this year. It may also have a brand new NVIDIA processor that's capable of 4K Nintendo gaming for the first time, which actually is pretty good. Does that mean a Switch 2 is coming later this year? It sure seems like it. Maybe it, it'll be called the Switch 2 or a Switch Pro. New Nintendo Switch, Super Nintendo Switch, Super Nintendo Switch XL. Call it whatever you want, but it's time for, Nintendo, for new Nintendo hardware to emerge. It's looking increasingly likely that, that the long-rumored Switch Pro could happen in 2021. The Nintendo Switch debuted four years ago. The less expensive Switch Lights arrived two years ago. Meanwhile, the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 have already arrived. Sony and Microsoft are in a next-gen console land. A recent Nintendo rundown of upcoming Switch games had no news on new Switch hardware and felt light on big new named new games. Nintendo, as always, is coy on details. A Polygon interview with Nintendo of America President Doug Bowser le last December suggested the Switch was midway in its console cycle and that existing form factors would be honored. But the reports of new hardware are mounting. A Bloomberg report from September said Nintendo may already be looking to developers to upgrade their games to 4K for an eventual hardware refresh. More recent reports go into even more detail on the NVIDIA hardware that could be inside. The Nintendo Switch has already sold more systems than the, three, in the Nintendo 3DS and may eventually catch up to the Wii. A new Switch might be more expensive, but could live alongside, um, alongside existing Switch models. Of course, if a new Switch arrives, expect some major games to debut alongside it. When asked about future plans, Nintendo de declined to comment. <clears throat> All right, I'll read this next part and then I'll uh, give my, you know, my thought of it. Very likely, larger OLED display improved TV gaming when docked. A March Bloomberg report says that the updated Switch coming this year will have a 7-inch 720p Samsung OLED. The existing Switch and Switch Lite have a 720p displays but they're 6.2 and 5.5 inch LCD panels. Reports of a larger Switch display go back to last year at least, but reports then pointed to different display manufacturers. That's not a huge size, in, size increase, 
but maybe it will come with a case redesigned to be more compact. Then again, if a new switch changes the size of its body, it could be a problem when connecting with older switch accessories. 4K game resolution on, t on a TV mentioned is more detail in a second Bloomberg report, emphasizing a new NVIDIA chip feels overdue, but also means a new wave of games that are 4K optimized. If so, how would the, um, those games play on a 720p screen on the go, and how would those games feel on older, older Switches? Which uh, is all really good questions. To be honest, do I think that there's a new Switch coming down the pipeline? Possibly not. Maybe some like massive upgrades to the current Switch. But a new Switch with just a larger screen, it kind of feels... It feels relatively stupid, in all honesty. It doesn't feel like it deserves it. You know what I mean? It. I don't feel like it's necessary to do this it, it feels it just feels stupid just to have that in all honesty it doesn't even feel like it it's meant to be there so in all honesty do I think that there's gonna be a new switch possibly but I would not get my hopes up if I were everyone else anyway on to our next piece of work here um, Lord of the Rings. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking of Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, I feel, is an extremely well-liked series. Um, the trilogy of movies were, you know, classic hits. People are still talking about them today. And they deserved a lot of credence when it came to cult followings. But this is coming from Gay Radar. Gay www.gameradar.com This is written by Vicky Blake and she writes Amazon reportedly cancels Lord of the Rings again. Oh, Amazon, let's shoot itself in the foot now. Anyway, it says we love the Lord of the Rings IP and are disappointed that we won't be br and won't that we won't be bringing the game up to game to customers. Sorry. It says Amazon is rumored to have canceled the development of the upcoming Lord of the Rings video game. Well, the game had been in development at Amazon Game Studios in partnership with Tencent's Liu Technologies. It's now been reported that development has been shuttered following a contract dispute between Megacorps, Amazon, and Tencent. Detailed licensed documents about the Lord of the Rings MMO related leaked online at the end of the last year. Hold on. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, hiring, hit, sorry, hinting that as part of the acquisition of the Layu by Tencent, a bunch of legal documents were released, including Layu's original game license agreement for the Lord of the Rings game with Middle Earth Enterprises and the, and the co development and co operation agreed agreement with Amazon. The post included the amendment documents in a production schedule detailing the planning of, an, of the MMO, MMO with a first draft of the complete game lore and narrative expected to be completed in by January 11th, 2021. Now, however, an Amazon spokesperson has told Bloomberg that following Tencent's acquisition of Liu, it has been unable to secure terms to proceed with this title at this time. We love the Lord of the Rings IP and are disappointed that we won't be bringing in this game to customers. The spokesperson said in, st in a statement. There are, there have been plenty of Lord of the Rings IP in recent years, including Monolith Productions, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, and Middle Earth Shadow of War. The next game to be set in J.R.R. Tolkien's fantasy world is Datalex Entertainment's The Lord of the Rings Gollum, which is expected to launch in 2021. Just five months after the free-to-play shooter launched in May 2020, Amazon Games shut down development on Crucible, the studio's first big-budget game. And in all honesty, I kind of feel that one. Let's face it. Um, 
Lord of the Rings is one of those games that really deserved a a slot in what we had. An MMO based on uh, the Lord of the Rings? Come on. Who the hell doesn't want something like that? To be honest, I do. I would love to have played it. But in all honesty, um, at least we knew what was going to happen. I kind of feel like we had a feeling it wasn't going to happen. Because after so much time and so little coming out, we had a feeling that there was something going on. I believe I heard about this, what, last year? That Lord of the Rings was having a game being made. And to be honest, I was stoked. But I, if after so long of not hiring anything, it kind of gets you to wondering if it's even going to happen at all. And I kind of feel like that's kind of what it hit. I believe that fans of the project were actually secretly knowing that this was going to be the case. But it kind of sucks. Hopefully that they can get some stuff back on, uh, you know, back on track. Maybe we will still get the Lord of the Rings game, hopefully at some point. But you never know with this type of stuff. It's always having this kind of problem. So hopefully we'll be able to get the game. If not, then it it, it sounded good. In all honesty, I, I wish that it would have just gone through. Anyway, we have one last thing to cover today, and it is, yeah, we're talking about the PlayStation 5 again, <laughs> and this is being brought to you by comicbook.com, this is written by Tyler Fisher. We we cover a lot of his uh, posts on here. And he writes, PS5 report claims classic PlayStation series is being remade. And it goes thusly. A new PS5 report claims that a classic PlayStation series is being remade for the new Sony console. There are many games from yesteryear that PlayStation didn't want that are, didn't make that are synonymous with the PlayStation brand. Some of the best examples of this are the early Metal Gear Solid games, which are apparently being remade for the PS5 by Blueprint Studios. Oh boy, the team behind the recent PS5 remake of Demon Souls plus Gravity Rush remastered and uncharted the Nathan Drake collection. When it comes to re remakes and remasters, Blueprint has earned a reputation for being one of the best in the business. Whether or not this rumor is true or not remains to be seen. But if there was going to be a, a studio to remake it or remaster the early Metal Gear Solid game for PS5, you'd want that studio to be Blueprint. Sorry, not Blueprint, Blue Point. Sorry, my apologies. As for the rumor itself, it comes the way of Industry Insider and leaker Catharsis T, who has relayed accurate information before it was announced in the past, but they've also been on, off the mark on occasion. That said, this information in particular has apparently been vetted by the mods of Reset Era. Unfortunately, the leaker does not disclose any additional details on the undertaking, and right now it's wholly unclear that games are being remastered and remade, though it's clear it's more than one. Addition, adding to this, the leaker also notes that a new Silent Hill game for PS5 is indeed still in development, but apparently it, it's with a new studio. After months and months of rumors and reports about it, Silent Hill PS5 exclusive, the rumor mill has gone, gone dry completely. It's been months since we've heard anything about Silent Hill in relation to the PS5, and this studio change may be the reason why. All of that said, take all of this with a grain of salt. Everything here is unofficial, and in some capacity, we've been hearing a variety, a variety of these two rumors for months now with, so far, no payoff. At the moment of publishing, none of the implicated parties, Sony, Bluepoint, or Konami, have commented on any of the information above. It's unlikely all, any of these three entities will comment. If any will do, we will update you accordingly. And to be honest, that is a very fine idea. It, I feel like, you know, you really can't have uh, the Metal Gear Solid franchise being remade by anyone other than Hideo Kojima, uh, the original creator. 
and the Undertaker of the Metal Gear Solid franchise. And to be honest, I don't think fans would be, in all honesty, very thrilled with such a thing. I, I can I, I can understand it. Let me let me be clear. I can understand it. Um I I am a fan of the Silent Hill franchise. I love Silent Hill. I've played Silent Hill on my own personal channel. Go check it out. It's actually a really good franchise. But to be honest, do I think that um it, that the Metal Gear Solid franchise deserves to be remade? Uh, of course. But without the hand of the original creator, I don't think sir I, I think certain fans will not and I repeat, will not accept the um the the remakes. It I, I just don't think of it. Because fans have been more in line with, you know, sticking to the original creator than anything else. And I kind of have a feeling like that's going to be kind of the part of the case here. Um, as for Silent Hill, um, does it deserve to be, you know, remade, remastered? Or does the new game, does there deserve to be a new game of Silent Hill? Yes. The franchise is unique. The franchise is still fresh. There's a lot of things you can do with the Silent Hill franchise. If, um... Somebody lovingly, you know, takes everything into account and, you know, makes the game, you know, the way it's, it's supposed to be made. And that's kind of where I think this whole thing drops off here. Because for something like Silent Hill and Metal Gear Solid that have an extreme call following, um, fucking one of these franchises up will just ruin you. In, like, in no way, shape, or form can you dig out of it. If you put a bullet in one of these franchises, be, prepa be prepared for a riot. I know. <laughs> and it's not because of, like, I know someone's gonna do it. It's just like, do you see the fan backlash when, you know, the creator of Metal Gear Solid was kicked off the project of Metal Gear Solid? Fans universally despise Phantom Pain. Sorry, but it's, it is what it is. But, in all honesty, um, Metal Gear Solid, I really feel like the the old game still holds up today and if they were remade I still think you should have the hand of the original creator inside of the of that I understand that Konami is having a problem with them but they if you're gonna keep on going along with these uh these changes or you know doing stuff with the the Metal Gear Solid I IP then have the original creator Fans are not going to accept it any other way. And as for Silent Hill, yes, just make sure you handle it with care. Handle it properly. As long as you handle it properly, there really is no issue. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have to show today. I appreciate you guys joining me and thank you guys so much for watching. Um... I'm glad about what I'm doing at the moment. Um, if you guys all like what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button and please comment down below what you guys think. If you, if, um, you know what, let's do a question of the day, ladies and gentlemen, to end off. What franchise do you like more? Do you like the Metal Gear Solid franchise more? Or do you like the horror-themed Silent Hill more? Let me know down in the comment section below. Personally, I love the Silent Hill franchise a little bit more. Than the Metal Gear Solid franchise. I know. Blasphemy. Put down your pitchforks and torches. But. Um. I played a lot more of. Um. I played a lot more of Silent Hill. Than I have of. Metal Gear Solid. And. To be honest. I have a lot more of a history. With that. Franchise than the other. So. 
Sue me. Tell me now. Anyway, um, down in the description down below is all of our lovely and beautiful creators. They all deserve your respect and your time. Go ahead and check them all out. And I can guarantee you one of two things. That one, you're going to have an, an, an amazing time checking them all out. And two, that they are worth the time and the effort to watch. So go check them all out. Also down in the description down below is my personal channel where I've been playing lately this month Donkey Kong Country, uh, Samurai Jack, The Shadow of Aku. I've been playing Dragon Age Inquisition, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, Tony Ox American Wasteland, and Assassin's Creed 2. Come in, have a lot of fun. There's no other way to be. So come in and join in the fun with me. Also, um... If you guys want to catch me again at any point in time, every Thursday I play after the last day of and every Sunday I'm right here with the gaming news. So, if you guys like some really good fun, then come to, come chill with me on Thursdays where I play Avatar. And if you guys want some infomercial and uh, information on your new, on your you know, gaming topics here, then Sundays is the place to be with me. So anyway, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed, but it's time for us to end off. Good gaming, happy hunting, and I'll see all you dragonlings back inside the world of the gaming news. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Damien Dragon action. Peace.